Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, I am out in the field near the town of Colgan, Iowa with a Heston Stackhand 60B being pulled by a John Deere 4760. I am out at a local family farm here that invited me out to video this Heston Stackhand 60. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I've done a video of a Heston Stackhand 10. I personally own two of those now. And a Heston Stackhand 30 that I filmed out in South Dakota. And now I am finally out in the field with the big one, the Model 60. I still come across a good number of the Model 60s. Most of them are out in the western United States and most of them are parked. This farm is putting up corn stalks for bedding for their beef cattle and it works out really good. They do round bale some corn stalks as well, but the owner told me he does prefer the stacks. He can load the stacks up. They can take them into the cattle pens and just push off X amount per pen and move along to the next one. After they harvest the corn with their combine, they let it set for a couple days and dry. They come in with a flail mower, shred it, and put it in windrows, and then they come out here and bale or stack it. I did not get out here in time to see him windrowing or shredding the stalks here and putting them into a windrow, but we'll take a walk around this loft, this uh, flail shredder, crop shredder, whatever you want to call it. This has the windrow attachment. It looks like these are made out of Minnesota, and they're pulling it with their John Deere 8235R. Iowa is mostly a corn and soybean state. They do raise a lot of cattle out here. However, you don't see a lot of wheat, stuff like that, where they can use wheat straw for bedding. So they do bale a lot of corn stalks out in the Hawkeye state. This farm tells me they put up over 200 stacks a year for bedding and several round bales. The Heston stack hand is no longer in production, but Heston made three models, the Model 10, the Model 30, and the Model 60 you see here. At one time, John Deere used to offer three sizes about the same as this, and also Owatonna made a stacker, and I believe Farmhand and Gale had a different version of one back in the day as well, and there may have been some other companies also. Later on in the video, they will move one of the stacks with their Heston Model 60 stack mover pulled by a John Deere 4440 tractor. They told me they do like to let the stacks set for a few days in the field, kind of set up and settle before they move them. Makes things a lot easier. One might ask the advantages or disadvantages of using a Heston stack hand over a round baler for the corn stalks. A couple of the pros and cons would be with the Heston stack hand, there's no strings or net wrap used, but you do have to be very careful because you could break one of these stacks very easily if you're not watching what you're doing. And there is one here where he goes to unload it and the back end does fall off. Round baler, obviously the bales would be a little easier to handle because they're smaller, but they do tell me it costs about $4 per bale to net wrap one nowadays. And then you have to contend with getting rid of the net wrap or the twine, and if you're not careful, it'll get wrapped up in about everything. The chamber or the bed on the model Stackhand 60 is 8 foot wide by 20 foot long. This machine weighs in around 13,510 pounds. The pickup width on this is 6 foot wide and there is 24 paddles used on the pickup assembly. We'll take a look underneath at the pickup assembly. You can see all the flails here. Essentially this is a large vacuum and if you caught there's a roller in the back there to keep it level on the ground. With the flotation tires the Model 60 is a little over 12 foot wide. When the chamber is fully open this machine is 17 and a half foot tall and can get down to transport at 11 and a half foot tall. Depending on conditions, the Model 60 is capable of making a 6-ton stack, the Model 30 a 3-ton stack, and the Model 10 a one and a quarter ton stack. As you watch the video, notice on the top of the spout there is a deflector. So there's a little skill needed, especially on the Model 60, to get that material so that spout is blowing it from the front to the back to make this stack as even 
as possible. And also, if you look at the side of the stack, you'll kind of see how the material is kind of weaved together as that material is deflected from the front to the back and compressed. I have several different brochures on the Heston stack hands. The one I'm currently looking at right now is dated 1976. It shows all three models, all the options, all the movers and so forth. Really neat brochure to go through. And it does show the Model 60 also offered a finger time pickup for hay or leafy crops. And hey, let's talk about the tractor pulling the stack hand a little bit. This is a John Deere Model 4760 tractor in two-wheel drive. You could get these in either two-wheel drive like you see here or mechanical front-wheel drive, which I believe was more common. I don't see a lot of these bigger ones in two-wheel drive, so it's always neat to see one out here running like this. This one's in pretty nice shape. These were built in Waterloo, Iowa from 1992 to 1994. And this machine was powered with a John Deere 466 cubic inch or 7.6 liter 6 cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. These were rated at around 175 PTO horsepower and you had a choice of transmissions in these. You could get the quad range which was a 16 speed or the 15 speed full power shift transmission. This model was later replaced with the model 8200. The Model 4760 came with a 1000 RPM PTO only. You could get these with three or four remotes. Depending on the transmission, the quad range tractors could put out a little over 35 gallons per minute hydraulic flow and the power shift was 31.6 gallons per minute. Top speed in these tractors was just under 20 mile per hour. It was a beautiful day, so I got plenty of great drone and on-the-ground shots. And later on in the video, I also have some action of them feeding some cattle back at the farm.
And as you can see, there's a stack where the back end fell off. So the farm tells me they like to make their stacks close by to where they have the cattle. That way, if they do have a stack where part of it breaks loose, they can just come out here with a loader, the tractor and spreader, load it up, take it in, and just spread it in the cattle pen where it's needed.
hear some bonus footage, cattle feeding time. And thanks to the guy driving the truck there, that is the guy that reached out to me about coming out here to film this and make this video possible. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I was near the town of Colgan, Iowa, and that is the one and only, that is the only town in the entire world named Colgan. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed being out here, seeing something new running in the field that uh, probably not a lot of on YouTube. So anyways, feel free to comment below, hit that like button. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. And remember, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.